Hey everyone, it is Desiree, and I am here with another installment for the Darling um, digital download that I have been building a junk journal with. Now, unfortunately, um, I believe um, that this digital download is no longer available. Again, our shop owners, you know, they, they change around their products. They... Um, they, they want to have new products in there. So, I mean, that's, that is going to happen. So, you know, don't get frustrated, but I will still have the shop listed down below, uh, to see all of the, um, all of the other options that are available. So this is what we have so far created the cover. I have a charm here that can come off of that. I have some thread wrapped around that as well. This is our back, and then I do have some pieces already put in. These are the wraparounds that we created. This is an upward tuck that we created with some of the circles. Um, this is something else that we'll do here just to give um, a little bit of, of decoration. Here is another uh, belly band that we created, and then a shorter one that we created here as well. We do have the other ephemera sitting in a book where an envelope that you can cut out. This is a tag with a, um, a pocket in there. This is a journaling type card um, that can just be placed in. And same thing with this one, um, using up some of the book pages. And then of course, I do have a large um, charm that's ready to go into this as well. I do like to add um, feathers um, and infinity symbols to my journals. Um, so I there's my affin infinity um, symbol as well on that. Okay, so the pieces that I'm going to focus on now is in the digital add-on, one of them, you get squares. And you also get these small um, strips. Now, if you look at them, she's taking the pages, the designer, and she's like cutting them in half. So these are actually going to be elements that I want to put on the page. So they're, they're going to be, you know, like different pockets um, and, and so forth. So, but that's what we're going to be creating. So I have one of my tag bases um, that I like to use. And I just wanna I'm just gonna lay these out because again, they, they create something just a little bit different. Okay, so I need, I need to do my base on this, and that's gonna be my craft card stock. And I'm going to put them down on this. All right. Where's my glue? because I do want these to have a border, very thin one, but I do want them to have a border. So I'm gonna use my glue stick to put these down. Hopefully I'm gonna keep the same border going around. And I think, oh no, I need a new glue stick. <laughs> well, let's see if this is enough. Okay. Got that on. All right, now I need another glue stick. Let me 
me see if I can find one. Okay. I found one. All right, so now I'm going to cut these out. And again, just a very thin border going around these, but we'll give a frame to these. So as always, I do like to say that my videos are going to be long and I do tend to gab. Well, I like to gab. No, there's no tending about it. I'm going to gab. So again, if you're not into gabbiness if you're not into long videos um just wanted to give you the heads up so that you can make the decision um whether or not you want to watch this video just letting you know all right now i am going to put this onto a piece of craft card stock as well. Now for this one, I want to use something a little bit stronger. So I'm going to pull out my art glitter glue. And this will put right along the edge I love these base tags. I I forget where I got these. I think I got these, or someone gave them to me. They got them from Paper Mart. Um, you can get like a box of a thousand for really inexpensive. But just know that you can always make your own template for tags. Um, you know, don't think you have to run out and and get these. I'm just using these up. And I just think that they are great bases. Okay, so now we want to keep, I want to decorate this side. Now this is gonna sit this way. So I don't want that one. And I don't want that one. Mm, I think I do like that one. So I'm going to cut along these lines. And I'm going to add this to the base of the tag. And I think I'm going to have it going on this side of my book instead of this side. So I want this to hang off. So I definitely want this to go here. And then this one's going to come off like that. This one is going to that's going to go like that. And then this I do want these to overlap just a little bit. And then I want that to go like this. So, and I'll put this in the book so that you you see it. It's, it's different. I'm hoping it comes out. <laughs> I have it, I have this vision in my head. <laughs> Just say. Okay. Right 
very thin border again. But I do want it to run off the page. And we'll just put a little bit of glue on this. trim that all right so we have like a, a band going here all right so now this is actually going to set coming off of this and then this is going to come down just a little bit and then this is going to sit right there. So I want to put some glue there and I want to put some glue there. So, cause what I want to do is connect these pieces first. Put that there and put that there. And then that is going to go right there. All right. Now there's a reason why I'm doing this. All right. So this is the mechanism. Well, it's not a mechanism. Let me rephrase that. So this is going to sit right there. All right, now what I want to do is I'm going to put a bead of glue down this entire edge. And then I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to put one on the side and put one down like that. And I didn't want to go that at all, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to go right to the edge. And now I'm going to place that down. Push that up. Clear off the glue. Okay, so why did we do all this? Because we've created now a pocket at this top piece. All right, once that dries, we've created this pocket here. So if we're looking at our book, which is right here, So let's say we're going to find a page. Let's say it's this page here. I can set this down right here. This is going to overhang a little bit. All right. Or I can look at the center. Or I can put this like this. Again, I've got pieces then that are overhanging that can cause or give us some interest, all right? So we have that double pocket going on here. I'm actually liking it to come up here so that this piece hangs up that way because I should have thought on this length. This is too long. I don't want it to stick out that far. I think that's too far for it to stick out. Um, but I do like this coming off of one of these pages here to be even, and then we have that top, and again, the flowing of the tassel will come off, um, and, and so forth. So, that I do like, and then we've got these two pockets. Now, what I want to do then 
all right, is I want to put something on this side as well, um, whether that's a strip, um, you know, whether I take this and put this down um, for that other side. It's the only thing that I'm looking at there. So if I do that, No, these can just be tabs. No, I'm good. I'm actually going to let that go. Um, because then what I'll do is when I put this down, I'll put glue back here, here, here. So then I'm going to have all of these different pockets. You know, this is going to sit up there like this. We're going to have a pocket coming this way. Glue is going to be going down on this one. And then we're going to have this pocket coming in this way. So all kinds of different things. So that's one. Now, what I need to do is make sure that all my glue is in place. Now, I still want to do um, the one where I want it to come out the side. Where are we at? Okay. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to grab this. But I want to trim some of it off. So these are six and a quarter. I'm going to take right now an inch off. And I want to see if I can go with my original plan. So if that comes up, okay, that's better. Because <laughs> I would like it to hang out like that. So that's perfect. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. And that is perfect. So I just took an inch off of this tag and we're going to set that down onto our craft card stock. And again, same thing. We are going to cut it out along this edge. Now I'm okay that we've got that showing because I'm going to put something on top of that. And we'll trim that. And I'm actually just going to trim this because just in case I forget to do that. And just want to put a weird, a word, not a weird. Wow. Oof. Too funny. Too, too funny. Oi. All right. All right. So again, I want to go this way, and what I'm going to do this time is I want to look at these because I am loving the stepping stone effect. I just think this is really cool. Again, using your papers as an element on their own. I think is great. But I really, really do like this. Now, this is going to be um, just a little bit different. Now, these are the ones that were the bars. Now, you could also take this which I think would be really cool. So, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna real quick trim this up. I'm 
going to do something else with those. All right, now So I'm cutting these every half of an inch until I think I have enough. <laughs> now I could have counted, but of course I didn't, so that's fine. But I think this is going to be enough. And of course, I want to make sure that I am keeping them in the order in which they got cut. All right, so. Oh, thank goodness. I almost lost all that. So I'm just gonna move that off to the side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to lay these down. So again, I'm just gonna put a design element on this, but this is going to be a pocket that's going to come in on this page. Now, I think what I also want to do, I want to give this some background. And again, this is one of her pages um, that came with this that I just reprinted a bunch of times. And again, I just want to make sure that these pieces, because the, the colors on them are just, just phenomenal. I think with the vibrancy um, of this. I'm going to trim the extra away. Now, when we take these, we're going to strategically just create a design with our pieces. Again, not everything has to be interactive, but it's actually going to follow the line of the tear that we have on this piece that's coming across. And then what I'll do is this one will just be added onto the edge like that. So now we're just going to add each of these. Again, using the digital download and that is what we want to focus on, is that digital download. Again, letting it do the work for us. And again, I am a fan of the vintage photo, 
but you don't always have to add that. I mean, if you wanted to, you could add another, use another color of ink that you like for this. Maybe it's this red or that blue. Um, that's the fun with it. So I love the options that you have or the availability that you have when it comes to digital downloads. Um, because you don't have to have everything, if that makes sense. You don't have to have all of the tools. You don't have to have um, all of the things to build your junk journal. You can use just what's what you have in your home, which I think is the best part. And the other thing that's great with a digital download is, let's say you're making a journal and you need another piece of ephemera, you can print out the same page from that digital download again. Um, make it a different size, resize it so that it will fit in your junk journal. So that's what I really enjoy um, about having the ability or the access to digital downloads. Because even if, you, this helps you to give it a try. So say just something a little different, you know, burp, 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 burp. Um, I'm all about the uh, wonkiness or the on its side-ness. <laughs> That's just my... Um, I'm going to grab my hole puncher here. Because this too will come off of the side of the piece. and I'll be able to hang a charm or um, something like that on the side. And I'll always, I have my, ring protectors that are done in vintage photo to put around that. And again, I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So just a different way to create a, um, a hanging element, you know, where you can put a charm or um, a, a pretty tassel or add lots of ribbons like I like to do. Um, just a couple different ways to to do those so again just some more quick ways to make you know some ephemera and pockets so again this one is going to go on the page um vertically so if i just open up of course i open up to that there we go like this and then we'll have this um hanging off when it comes to that So it'll be a nice addition to the top. And then this one that we just did is going to hang off like this. So this area here is just going to be off that page so that I can put a charm. Now this will probably be higher or mid range or in between these two. Um, so that little pocket could be here. You can journal down here. Um, and then if I put a charm, it's got enough ways, it's got enough space to hang. So again, just using your digital pieces to create a different look, to create a space um, to allow you to create all kinds of different pockets and tucks um, and everything else. And this is a nice, tight, pocket so you can see it's really not going to let anything come out of that 
All right, so that is these two um, pieces. So again, just the different ways to do a tag. Now these are these are great as tags. You know, you can keep these as a tag. Why not? Um, just some different shapes. This color on the other side, we have plenty of room to journal. We can even take this tag if we want to and just put it in there. And if it's short enough, we can have that sitting like that. You know, if we have that sitting on, you know, another page. So lots of options when it comes to these two. So just another way to, you know, play with your papers and, and create these different pockets and tucks and collage and, and everything else. All right, so we're going to keep this video. It's not as long as what my other ones are, but I just wanted to come across with those two ideas that I had for this one. Again, we're just going to continue to make some ephemera and pockets and tucks and everything um, for this journal. And then at the last moment, you'll see how I put everything in there. Um, and then you'll see where that uh, journal goes um, and how it looks completed. So I will still link to the shop that designed these. Um, and this the company is Antique uh, Papery that did this design. I know she is in the process of, make, of having some new designs come out um, and available. Um, but I do believe that this one, unfortunately, is no longer available. Um, but I'll reach out just to confirm that to make sure. And I'll make sure I'll pin that in the comments down below. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave those down below or any other questions, and I will make sure that I get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so that you know when the next video is ready for you to watch. And I do say thank you to everybody that do take the time just to stop by, take the time to watch the video, and I do hope that you do enjoy them. Continue to stay safe and healthy, but always remember what's most important to me, even if we just do it a little bit, and probably without you knowing it, we do it every single day anyway. Always be creative. Till next time, guys. Take care.